Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. The yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, we need to have my back because I have yours. Listening to Jagged Edge, Pandora. Um, Jeremiah is on birthday sex intuition and then the world completion so there is some type of situation to where you're using your intuition in order to have some type of completion what completion is that probably when it comes to you setting priorities and making decisions of how to move forward you know the two of pinnacles energy could have been two years that you've been trying to um focused on your time, the things that you need to do, seven of cups energy, the options that you have, and also you being able to make a decision. Yeah. So moving forward, um, is the two of wands energy, but the two of wands energy is also you doing the same thing in regards to making a decision as far as the two of pentacles energy. So you've been trying to make decisions and you trust in your intuition about options that you have, um, that, it could be, it says grandiose temptations. So it could be, again, Adam and Eve drinking the apple. I mean, drinking the apple, eating the apple, drinking the wine. It could be those types of things when it comes to all in. So whatever it is, something about you all being all in and wanting to have completion. This could be with love. This could be, you know, um, new beginnings. The world energy um, can also be you moving on so you're trying to make a decision on moving on or making things last make it last forever just kind of popped in my head what is it that you're trying to make last um i'm gonna pull from the yin and yang deck to see what comes out um slow dance is on uh by r kelly um so yeah you trying to make something last or hold on to something it's been two years you're trying to make these decisions when it comes to yeah the doubt that you have in your heart and so that also comes with yeah you having to either release surrender or let go or uh purge and energy yeah and there's going to be gifts of abundance there water energy is here making a decision yeah so this is heavy on your heart to make a decision when it comes to um, something that is causing you lack and is causing you to doubt you are yourself doubt, doubt the things that you would normally be able to decide um, but it could be temptation there meaning could be love it could be certain things but it could be based upon gifts so you could be tempted by gifts or somebody actually trying to butter you over or you could be tempted by just the attraction that you have with the person I'm gonna pull from the mm, What's the T deck? I'll go ahead. I grabbed it. So I'll go ahead and pull from here to see what decisions you're trying to make. Because again, everything is leading to a decision. We got the two of wands. We have the two of two of coins energy, you know, setting priorities, moving forward um, or making a decision when it comes to seven of wands energy conflict. You're conflicted about certain things. You you want to be defensive but at the same time it's just like oh should I trust in my intuition or is, should I follow my heart you know following my heart is causing you to doubt yourself that's the reason why you're sitting here questioning what it is that you should do yeah somebody's looking you up somebody's researching or you're researching a person in the reverse the fake smiles the impersonators the thieves are here so you feel like this person has wasted your time um has been fake or um, maybe not worth it have has just been making you feel insecure about certain things because the fake smiles come in the reverse so you're not sure whether this is fake um, you're not sure if they're t they're just taking stealing your time or what they're doing if they're playing games with you and so you're trying to figure out what it is a dirty offer okay so maybe somebody is coming in with trying to offer you something and you're not you're not um you're not believing it because, again, um, you had to deal with some type of situation to where you didn't trust in offers or trust in certain things. Um, the temptation, maybe somebody is a Casanova, maybe somebody is um, has played games in the past, or maybe this is a new offer that, you know, you're like, should I, you know, it seems too good to be true. So before you make a decision of a gift, an offer, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody's throat shocker is off you're trying to see if this is fake or not you know so it, it seems too good to be true i guess like that's what it is so the world energy the triumphant completion 
It could be about a man or a woman. It could be about a relationship or it could be about you trying to let go of a cycle. You've loved yourself or you practice self-love. And so now here it is. Now that this offer is in front of you, you're looking in the mirror and trying to reflect on what it is that you're able to, you, if you're able to do this. Yeah, fake news, pregnancies. There was a lot of fakeness in your past. And so moving forward, yeah, and having endings uh, is basically where you are. Yeah, so you had to block a lot of the fake people in your in your life and end things. Um, and this is like the death energy, but it is um, a transformation. So it says, um, the death energy says, embrace change, let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new, new beginnings. So when it comes to these energies being out here, I believe that the past energy was just so much full of so much drama and so many doubts and you had lack energy, a lack mentality. You started to surrender and purge and let go and, and start to accept the things that are coming into your life. And here it is, you know, you had to block the other people that just played games and lied to you. And so the decision is, is like, do you want to move forward? Are you trusted in your intuition? Um, how do you feel? Let's pull tarot to see what comes out again so we have tarot out here we have the high priestess and we have one two three cards that came out this one first we have the tower energy yeah so um it was just you had to um leave all of a sudden you had to stop dealing with a person place thing or a situation because you had clarity a lack of ideas judgmental needing to step it up and also the summer solstice, um, it says the summer solstice is doo -doo -doo -doo, pinnacle of success. It says a few weeks, let go of control, celebrate life, have fun, and then summer. So this summer, you're going to go ahead and enjoy this time. It will be you is on by Trey Songs, but you're going to go ahead and enjoy yourself this summer because in the past, you know, whether it be two years because the two of pinnacles is here or, um, you know, you figuring out what it is that you want to do, offers, new offers, ending things, totally blocking people, and Seven of Cups energy because, again, this is in the reverse. You have to focus on the things that you want to do and take action. It says, see a clear choice, concrete dec 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 decision, or decisive, concrete, and it says decisive, and it says clerical, uh, what is it? I don't know how to say that word, but anyway, clarity of thoughts. So you have to be clear of what it is that you want to do because summer is coming. You're going to be having fun. You need to block the people. You need to step it up. You need to start working on yourself. You need to make sure that you're not doubting yourself, not talking to yourself negatively. You have to figure it out because, again, this is the judgment in reverse. This energy will self-sabotage you, and you'll continue to deal with fake people and fake situations and people that are in your face playing games with you or this is the energies that you feel when it comes to yourself like you're being fake dealing with a certain situation and you're steady searching to make or to try to find the answer when you have to trust in the universe and trust in your intuition to know you already know the answer and nobody can tell you anything differently you have to be able to understand that you know people are the way that they are and they're going to be who they're going to be you have to move forward and be able to make decisions on your own so i'm going to go ahead and pull from the karmic twin flame and soulmate energy because again i think you're trying to make a decision in regards to a past relationship or situation all of these cards keep coming out we have the chaser we have the resolution we have which a uh, watching you and we have stuck in limbo so yeah You've been stuck in limbo for a while in the cheating heart. It says if you were cheated on, it's likely negative emotions are running high. You must you must honestly ask yourself if it's sa it's worth saving or um, to just walk away. So that is why you have to get to a situation where you have to the decision is is to block the things that no longer serve you. You know I have my desk kind of stuck up here, right? So the decision is is that you have to block the people that no longer serve you. And that is what the universe is saying because, again, the cheating heart is here. You have to decide that. You know deep down, I can't make those decisions for you, but you have to be able to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And so sometimes it's easier said than done when it comes to dealing with certain situations, but the decision is on you. You have to be able to understand that 
you are the one to make that decision. And the Seven of Cups being here is to let you know that there's more options out there than what it is. But being stuck in limbo and being a chaser or chasing and watching and trying to figure out what this situation is doing, it's only going to cause you all of this anxiety. It says instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth, redirect that energy into other areas areas in your life. Trust in your life trust relax be patient and surrender so again the chaser type energy it's telling you that in the summer enjoy enjoy and somebody is going to at some point start looking you up when they hear how much fun you've been having so this is watching you this is the offer so you know that if they do come around the offer might be fake you know so it might be fake, but you know that they're watching you. They're trying to figure out what it is that you're doing. And then we have the uh, resolution. It says, uh, you are teaching, you know, you are reaching the end of a cycle or about to start a new one. The answers you seek are about to be revealed. So again, this is something that you've been waiting for. Ambitious, uh, excuse me, Lotus Flower Bomb is on by Wale. But this is something that you've been looking for, but you've been waiting and stuck in limbo. And now it's time for the universe to stand. It's time for you to get out. So trust in your intuition. It says, you're stuck in limbo, filled with doubt and confusion regarding a relationship with someone you believe is a twin flame. Break this cycle. So again, it's telling you, it's telling you, it is telling you to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And, you know, they're going to come back around. They're going to come back around. But right now, you're stuck in limbo, and the decision is yours to make. But it's telling you to break this cycle of all the games and all those things and go enjoy yourself for once because this cycle is causing you to have lots of anxiety. So, again, being stuck in limbo is you having to make the decision that you probably don't want to make, but you know you have to. Um, in order for you to move forward and to kind of be happy. I'm going to pull from the four agreements. And then I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. Which focuses on the chakras. And I'll put my my interpretation of it up above. If you want to click the link to uh, see what I'm talking about. Uh, always do your best. It says protect. Oh, excuse me. Practice makes the master. Practice makes the master. It says by doing your best over and over. You can master the art of transformation by doing your best. The habits of misusing your words, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. So this is the self-sabotage that's here. All of these energies that's in the reverse and that you are searching for is a self-sabotage that you're doing to yourself. So the universe is like, end it and move forward. Enjoy yourself so you can see what it's like to really have fun, enjoy your and 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 enjoy your life. Uh, did I, I didn't pull from the crystal deck yet. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. Again, you can click the link above. Um, all right. The steel, steel bites. Steel bites. Steel bits. Steel, steel bite. Crown and heart chakra. Higher consciousness, spiritual vibration, and universal love. It says, I easily travel to realms of higher energetic vibrations. This is what keeps you going. When you go home, you go to sleep, you get in your bed. Um, even if you're not going anywhere, you are sitting there and this is your sanctuary. This is where you feel this was, this is your happy place. And so, excuse me, somebody's throat chakras off. So those type of energies make you vibrate higher, whether it be going outside. See, I was about to choke again, going outside with, uh, hanging with your animals, you know, being in the sun or just pretty much laughing and enjoying yourself. So the decisions is yours to make. You have to understand that all of this comes with you standing up and making the right decision and setting your priorities and moving forward. And that's what the universe is saying. You know, it's time to block that situation because it has you stuck in limbo and you need to make the right decisions, you know, when it comes to either moving forward and setting the priorities for yourself. And that's going to happen in the summertime. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Shardy is on by uh, uh, Plies and T-Pain. So there you have it. I love you guys.